Hello, in this video, I will show you how to prepare a sequence, and some handy tips on how to do it more effectively. In the sequence window, click new to create a new sequence. Fill in the first row as you need, and pay extra attention to the columns that will be the same for the whole sequence, for example, method name. The cell content is copied from the previous row when a new row is created. Check the run checkbox on the first row, and the default values will be filled in. I will fill in the method name, and sample cells. as these will be the same for the whole sequence. In the file name, I will change the variable from sample ID to sample. Now, we can fill in the next rows. The number of rows you need depends on your specific application. I will check the run checkbox on another three rows, So my sequence will have a total of 4 rows. In clarity, injecting more than once from one vial, or measuring samples from more vials on one row, is possible. In my case, in row 1, I want to measure the sample twice from the same vial, so we will change the number of injections per vial to 2. In the fourth row, I want to measure samples from vials 4 to 7. So, we change the end vial number to 7. To facilitate finishing the sequence, we recommend using the fill down and fill series functions. The how to fill cells automatically video provides more details. The first three rows will be standards. So, we select the standard type in the first row, and the sample type cells in the first three rows. Right click to invoke the local menu. Select fill down. Fill in the level of standard as 1 on the first row. Select the level cells on the first three rows. And select fill series in the local menu. Confirm the dialog that just popped up. We want to increment the value by 1. Use fill down again for the injection volume but for the whole column this time. Save the sequence under the name you want. Now, the sequence is ready for the measurement.